Hi, this is Jamie from WC Vendors, and in today's video, we're going to go through how to set up Stripe Connect. The first thing you'll need to do is go to wcvendors.com, then go to My Account Downloads, and then download your copy of Stripe Connect. Once that has been downloaded, you can upload that. Now that the plugin's installed, the next step is to start the configuration. We're going to be doing this in test mode only because our Stripe account is a test only account so we do not have live credentials. So what we want to do, this is a completely new Stripe account. When you sign up for Stripe, you'll need to click activate payments and provide Stripe with all your business information. Once you do that and it's approved, you'll be able to activate live payments as well. We won't be doing that today, we'll only be doing the test which is why test mode cannot be toggled out. The first thing we need is the publishable key and the secret key from test mode. So if we go over to here, we click on developers, go to API keys. All you have to do is click to copy, step one. Then we need the secret key, copy that bring that over. This view will change when you toggle test mode between live and test mode. Then you can copy the keys that you need either for test mode or for live mode. We've copied the test keys over. The last thing we need is the client ID. The client ID is inside the Stripe Connect settings. So when you've got your brand new account, you click on connect. You'll need to enable connect for your account. You will need to go to connect and then click get started. And these are the settings you should use. So what we need to do is we need to go to settings, then go to connect settings. Once you're on the connect settings page, you can scroll down to the bottom where you'll get your test mode client ID. Copy that over, paste that into your client ID area and hit save changes. Now that that's configured, the marketplace side is ready to start processing payments from customers. You'll need to enable a few extra settings on your Stripe account so that your vendors are gonna be able to connect. Otherwise, you'll get an error. I'll show you what the error looks like so that you know what to do if there's an issue. So if you come here and go to settings, payment as a vendor, and scroll down and say connect with Stripe, you'll get this standard OAuth is disabled for this Stripe Connect integration. This is not an error in the plugin configuration, it's that you haven't enabled some settings in your Stripe account. While still in the Stripe Connect settings, down the bottom you need to enable standard accounts. Now. When the vendor tries to connect, they will get the standard onboarding here. For this example, we're going to skip the form, which will provide a temporary connected account for your vendor for testing. This is because we haven't set up the redirect URI. When specifying your redirect URI, you can easily get this from the WooCommerce settings. When you change the connect redirect page, it will give you the URI that you need to add to your Stripe setting. This makes it nice and easy for you to know what you need to add onto the Stripe dashboard settings pages. Now that Stripe Connect is configured both on your Stripe dashboard and within WooCommerce and WC vendors, you can now process test payments and see how the payment flows happen. You can also check the connected status of your vendors under the user edit on the vendor tab. If the vendor is not connected, their connection status will say that. As you can see here, Charlotte's store is connected. It's very easy to configure both the Stripe Connect plugin and your Stripe dashboard to be able to quickly receive payments and pay out your vendors. We recommend using Stripe Connect because you can be part of the transaction or completely separated from the transaction, which provides a quick and simple solution for your marketplace payments. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, you can comment below. Contact us via our website at wcvendors.com or you can tag us on Twitter at wcvendors.